Hi, this is Chris. Today I'm going to show you how you can use an actuator like an LSD display with your internet thing. And I will do that by connecting to a news service and then continuously show the top news on the display. As you may have seen in some of my previous videos, it's possible to use a microcontroller like an Arduino to act as an indicator of what is happening somewhere on the internet. When this happens, we are making use of an actuator. They can be thought of as digital fingers, which can manipulate the environment in different ways. There are many different actuators, and some examples include relays, motors, LEDs, and different kinds of displays. Here you can see the needed hardware for this lab. And in addition to the Arduino, the important components are the LCD display and the potentiometer to control the contrast. To connect everything, you need a breadboard, a 220 ohm resistor and above 15 jumper cables that, are, that have a pin on each end. To set up the hardware, you start by disconnecting everything from its power source and then connect the 5V and ground on the Arduino to the breadboard. Connect the 5V to one of the sides of the potentiometer and to the LCD pins 2 and also to pin 15 but that should be over a resistor. Connect the ground to the other side of the potentiometer and to the LCDs pin 1, 5 and 16. Then connect the center of the potentiometer to pin 3 on the LCD. And finally, the Arduino connect to the LCD with pins 2 to 11, 3 to 12, 4 to 13, and 5 to 14, and then also 11 to 4 and 12 to 6. To make things easier for the Arduino, I will set up an omnichannel service, and here is the code. And first, it gets the top news from Feedzilla on line 2 and then it parses the JSON return on line 3 and return the title on line 4. This service can be deployed to a cloud server with, this, with the name news.php and I showed you how to do that in my previous video called Omnichannel Services for Service so please see that for details. Here is the Arduino code or sketch and after the initial includes, the LCD screen object is created with the pin specified on line 4, followed by some variable declarations on line 5 and 6. In the setup, we define the LCD display size on line 10 and initialize the bridge on line 11, which allows communication between the microcontroller and the microprocessor. The internal loop starts by getting the content from the omnichannel service on line 16 to 22 and make sure that you replace the 000 with the IP address of your server. And the first and the second lines are extracted on lines 23 and 24. The LCD is cleared on line 25 and the two lines are printed on the LCD on lines 26 to 28. And then there is a delay for 10 seconds on line 29 until the loop starts over again. So that's how you can use an actuator like an LSD display to display information from anywhere on the internet. And with that, I wish you the best of luck with your Internet of Things projects. Thank you.